Today marks the beginning of the holy month of Shravan, where various devotees of the Hindu religion go for a Kavar Yatra. Remember that recently the Uttar Pradesh government passed a diktat asking for shop owners on the route of this Kavar Yatra to actually show and name them uh, the, the owners of those particular shops and very clearly display it on the board of that particular shop. The matter came before the Supreme Court because various opposition leaders and various people felt that this is something that could create a religious and economic bias. The matter reached the topmost court of the country by various petitions, including that filed by TMC MP Mahua Moitra and, uh, in fact, um, the various uh, other acad academicians as well. Now, very clearly, it was argued by the petitioners led by senior advocate Abhishek Manu Singhvi, C.U. Singh and Huzefa Ahmadi that this is a diktat that could uh, create an economic and a religious divide. It would, uh, you know, make people face the wrath of an economic disaster and that's exactly why, you know, the exclusion of a particular community, especially the minority community, would actually come in. The Supreme Court, after hearing the arguments of the petitioner in an ex parte order, has issued notice, in fact, to the Uttar Pradesh government, the Uttarakhand government, the Madhya Pradesh government, and, in fact, has sought a response on, in fact, this particular diktat that had come in, wherein it had to be displayed as to why, um, the, the why has this diktat been passed with regards to, you know, naming of the shop owners on the board of that particular shop to be very, very clearly displayed. Remember that uh, this had been a diktat that has been passed by the Uttar Pradesh government at first, and later, um, in fact, it was followed by Uttarakhand and also by Madhya Pradesh as per various reports. Now, the Supreme Court had also put an interim stay on this particular order while issuing notice to these particular governments and very clearly a clear observation came in from the court that, you know, this is a diktat that needs to be stopped at this particular point of time until and unless these states are actually heard in this particular case. While the opposition claims that this is a matter of religious divide, the BJP government have been defending it, saying that, you know, the Kavar Yatri should actually know as to what they are eating and from where they are eating and who are the owners of these shops where they are eating because this is a matter of, uh, you know, a religious faith and since they are on a, on a pious, um, uh, you know, a journey, they are on a, uh, on a yatra that is considered to be sacred, hence they should know what and where, from where are they eating those particular things that, um, that they would be consuming on that particular yatra. The Supreme Court, however, clarified that though the name of the shop owners might not be displayed, but uh, definitely the nature of the food being offered is something that should be clearly displayed and it should be shown as to what is being used to cook those particular meals or, you know, um, um, uh, on, on those eateries. I am Ananya Bhatnagar with video journalist Arjun Singh for CNN News 18 from the Supreme Court of India in the national capital.